This is a Spalding All Court NBA Professional Ball, and I hate this thing. As far as a ball, I guess it works. And the durability of this thing, okay, I shouldn't say I hate it, but I haven't had it very long and it's already, as you guys can see, wearing down pretty quickly. I'm playing on a paved court, so that's, that's concrete. So similar to a, a sidewalk, it's not the asphalt like the black street. It's, uh, yeah, it's like a paved court. And you guys can see there's massive wear spots everywhere. Another thing with this ball is if you play basketball, for me, I am a guard. And so whether I'm shooting it with a layup or if I'm dribbling it or I'm trying to do a pass, you know how important it is to have a round ball. And this thing got lopsided real quick. Actually, when I got it, it was already lopsided. And so I've been pretty pissed about it because I had already started playing. So I couldn't really return it, but then it's really frustrating to use a ball that's always lopsided. I'm sure you guys know. I'm no pro, but I've been playing since I was really little, and so I can notice when a ball is round or when it's not, when I'm dribbling between my legs, behind my back. If I'm doing a bounce pass, it makes a difference. This thing is really, really lopsided, where I'm doing uh, crossovers real quick and it just starts flying out of my hands and stuff like that. There you go. So you guys can see, like, I'm not, I'm not terrible. You could probably even see in the footage that this thing is spinning lopsided. I mean, usually I could spin this thing for a long time. Yeah, it's pretty good access, so. Yeah, you can see it moving around a lot. That as a point guard is really annoying. I think just as a ball player, it's annoying to have a lopsided ball. As far as holding the air in, this thing does hold it. Well, I haven't had to pump it up that much, but I do have to pump it up probably about once a month. And I only play maybe twice a week. Yeah, I haven't had this even for a year and it's pretty messed up. So probably wouldn't recommend this ball for you guys if you're looking to purchase one and spend your money. I probably wouldn't recommend this. There's other balls or there's other versions, I guess, of Spalding. I kind of like the Spalding indoor balls, but those aren't really made for outdoors. I read that this one was a all-purpose ball, indoor or outdoor, but I'm gonna have to do some different reviews because this thing sucks. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. But as far as me, I don't like it. This is a Spalding all-court NBA professional ball and I hate this thing. As far as a ball, I guess it works. And the durability of this thing, okay, I shouldn't say I hate it, but 